welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you a kitchen clean with me. And my kitchen was pretty bad on this day. We have started summer at this point, things are getting crazy, we're constantly on the go, and it doesn't take long for the kitchen to get a mess, for the dishes to pile up. So while I was making pizza for dinner, I know, a super easy dinner, <laughs> I figured I would clean up the kitchen and share it with you guys, um, hopefully to give you some motivation today to tackle your space as well. I'm starting off by putting everything away that doesn't belong on the countertops right here, and then I'm gonna start loading up the dishwasher. Um, and to my surprise, that <laughs> the dishwasher was empty. Um, and I don't know why, but in my mind, I thought that it was full, and it was like kind of what was keeping me from loading the dishwasher to begin with, and this whole time I could have just been loading it throughout the day. I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway. I'm gonna get this loaded up because the dishes were definitely piling up and you will notice I'm trying to fit as much in here as I possibly could because I didn't wanna hand wash anything. I was tired, I had already been cleaning and organizing all day in my bedroom. I just wanted to get the dishes <laughs> shoved in here and luckily my dishwasher is great. Um, I will link this one down below. I know a lot of you were asking me to give you an update on it as after like I had used it for a while and I, Love it. It was worth every single penny that we paid. It is probably one of the best dishwashers I've ever used. It never stinks. It never really gets dirty. Even the filter itself stays clean somehow. I don't know how that happens. Um, and my dishes always come out sparkling clean, even when it's stuffed full like this. Okay, so I always scrub out the sink before I hand wash any dishes that are left out, just are left over from not being able to fit in the dishwasher, just because I feel like I don't wanna wash the dishes and set them into a dirty sink. Um, so then I grabbed a little hand towel and I'm gonna wash all these by hand. And I did go put on my gloves just because I just did my nails. And I, I do my nails myself. I use the Kiss Acrylic, like the glue on kind. So, if you get them wet too much, they will pop off a lot faster. So I, I need to remember to put my gloves on a little sooner. But anyway, better late than never. Um, but these gloves I actually got from Lowe's. I saw them on an end cap and they were like two bucks. So I was like, oh, you know what? Let me just grab them. I was going to use them for the epoxy. Wait, no. These were from Walmart, weren't they? I did buy these at Walmart. Sorry, I went at Lowe's. It was Walmart that I was at when I got a few things that I needed to do my epoxy countertops. And they were on like an end cap. So anyway, I grabbed them. They are literally the best. They have like texture on the inside. So that way, kind of like a fabric almost. That way your hands don't get sweaty inside the gloves. So it's not like true rubber gloves. I don't know. I love them. They're great. I definitely will be wearing these more often when I'm cleaning just to kind of protect my hands from getting so dry. Um, and also when I have my nails on so that way they don't pop off so easy.
wipe down the stove now and I'm using that same scrubber that I used in my sink and I'm using Dawn soap and kind of just scrubbing in a circular motion and then back and forth in all different directions and this really does get all the grime and grease off. It obviously does not get any like of the white marks that are on my stove. I'm pretty sure my stove is just at that point where it's done. Like there's nothing I can do to get these marks off. I think most of it is scratches because when you look up close, um, it just looks super scratched. But anyway, I wipe it down a few different times with different towels to make sure all that soap residue is off. And it does come pretty clean except for those two burners that you can see we use the most. <laughs> um, and then over here by my fridge, this gets full of the artwork from the kids and they've been working on a ton of art lately. So I'm trying to like rotate through the pictures that they make me. And so I'm going to take all these down. That way the next pictures that they do bring to me, I'll have room for um, and something that really stinks is when I was doing this, one of my magnets fell. This one, it's like the bone. My mother-in-law gave that to me and it says, um, time to walk the fur human or something like that. And it broke, you guys. I was so bummed because I loved it. Um, but once it broke, I decided to just toss it. But anyway, got all that cleaned off. It does look much more clean and not as cluttered, but I love having the kids artwork. So I usually, I can't put it on the front of our fridge because it scratches it. Y'all let me know if y'all stainless steel fridges like that. You can't put any magnets on the front of our fridge or it will scratch the heck out of it. So I can only put magnets on the side. Um, anyway, and then I went ahead and put the bread and all this stuff away. And as I opened the cabinet, there's a little avalanche came flying out at me. It That always happens. Everyone always shoves stuff in the cabinets and then just like shuts the door <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. Um, and it's that was just like a fun little surprise. And then what's funny is later... I went to go put the crock pot thing away right here and the crock pot almost fell and whacked me in the head. And you could see I kind of like jumped back. I don't know. I'm just, everything was falling out of the cabinets at me. Didn't I wait for you? Didn't I say I'm sorry? Didn't I do the best I could? You have high expectations. Don't I know that you've explained it? How I should prove myself to you But I can't when I'm with you I need to laugh again But I can't when I'm with you I need to find my way by myself just refilled my little soap dispenser. I actually got those amber bottles from Amazon. There was a pack of two um, and they're glass and they're actually so beautiful and great, great quality. The pump has held up great. So I definitely recommend if I can find the link for them, I'll link them below. Um, and hopefully they're still on like a good deal because at the time when I purchased them, I know they were on sale, but you know, Amazon, like they filter through their sales so quick. So I'm not sure of the price, but Anyway, at this point, um, after all that cleaning, the pizza is almost done, and I'm just cutting the pizza box and folding it over so that way we can put the pizza on the box when it comes out. Um, I actually learned this from my sister-in-law, and I know this is like really random. I don't know if y'all have already done this. I never thought of this. But basically, you cut the pizza box and fold it over and make it into like an actual pizza box. So what I always did was just put the pizza on the outside of the box, which is probably disgusting. I don't know. I, you know, sometimes you just got to risk it all. <laughs> but like other people have touched the box probably while it was at the store. So it's probably not the most sanitary thing to do. But one day I saw her cut the box and fold it over. And I'm like, that is so genius. Why did I never think of that? And ever since then, I I always think about it when I make pizza, um, which is pretty cool. And then if you want to, you can just fold that piece over to kind of protect it. If you're in the South, you know, flies are like a thing here. So, it, you know, you can just kind of cover it if you want to um, to keep it warm or just to, you know, kind of leave it on the counter until everybody's done grabbing a piece. But anyway, now I'm going to wipe down at the counter or the kitchen island top. And if you guys didn't know, I don't know if I shared this in my last cleaning video or not, but my husband and I redid our kitchen island. So we did a kind of stone look on it and then we sealed it with epoxy and it turned out absolutely beautiful. If you want to see the process of that, make sure you go follow my main channel. Um, I will just have the videos linked down below if you just want to click on it and watch it. But yeah, recently I've been trying to update the kitchen and just work on little home projects that needed to get done like painting and changing little things here and there. One of the spaces I actually want to change soon is this area right here that I'm wiping down. 
Um, I actually want to close this in and make it hidden storage for like my broom, my vacuum. I think it would be so nice to have there because if not, it's open and it does get really cluttered really fast. The only reason why it's clean at this moment is because I literally cleaned it like a couple days ago to film the overview of my kitchen island after I redid it. But usually there is stuff hanging all over the hooks. There's like shoes piled up by the back door and I'd love to just have a nice cabinet to store all that stuff away and close it and out of sight, out of mind type of thing. But here I'm just wiping all the cabinetry down with warm soapy water while the pizza was still cooling off. Once it was cooled off, my husband did cut it up for us and we sat down to eat dinner. But as soon as dinner was over, I was back up again and I was determined to finish the kitchen. So the last thing I needed to do was just sweep and mop. Um, and typically I would do the entire house at this point. Like even though I just cleaned the kitchen, I would go ahead and mop and sweep the rest of the house. But I am trying to focus on one space at a time recently. I'm learning that I am human and I can only do so much. And I was starting to get kind of tired. I had already been working all day on my bedroom. And instead of just really just overdoing it, I decided let's just focus on just the kitchen today. Tomorrow I can do the dining room. I had a bunch of stuff piled up on the table anyway that was for um, donations. So instead of like even trying to tackle that space today, I wanted to just focus on this one room, get it as clean as possible. That way I have a fresh start tomorrow and I can work on the dining room instead then. So that was the game plan. Um, and I think moving on, like moving forward, I'm going to try to have like designated rooms each day. So like Monday will be kitchen, deep clean, Tuesday, bedroom, deep clean, Wednesday, dining room, living room, you know, you kind of catch my drift. Um, that way I'm not trying to like clean my entire house all in one day. It's just super unrealistic to do that all the time. Although I do have days where I don't mind spending the entire day cleaning, especially if it really needs it. The issue though with that is I end up getting burnt out on cleaning. So then what happens is I decide to take a break or two days break from cleaning in general and it's back to square one. So it's better to just do little bits every day than trying to spend your entire day cleaning and getting burnt out on it. So that's just what I've noticed with me. Um, so I'm trying to just focus clean. <laughs> one room, one little space at a time. After getting the floors all mopped, I did notice that there was a few paint drips and epoxy drips kind of just randomly laying around. And what's nice is I do have tile floor and all you gotta do is to just take a razor blade and you can kind of just pop off all those little marks um, from paint and epoxy, whatever was dripped, and it comes right off. So I just did that and then wiped it clean with a clean towel. One area though I did notice that I just skipped and I always skip this is the microwave. Why do I always forget to clean the microwave? I don't, I, probably because I don't use it that often. Usually it's the kids or my husband that use the microwave. I really never use it. So I always forget to wipe this clean. <laughs> it's so gross. Like I remember specifically this one day we had company over and someone's like, oh, can I heat this up in the microwave? <laughs> and they opened the microwave and it was filthy. I was like, I was so embarrassed, but like, I mean, come on, whose oven? Or microwave doesn't get messy sometimes, right? But I just, I didn't realize how messy it got because I never use it really. So there was like SpaghettiOs like splattered everywhere. It was so embarrassing. And so now I've been trying to like remember to wipe this down. Um, and even though I got the whole kitchen cleaned up, I was like, oh man, I forgot the microwave. So let me go wipe that clean real fast. After getting the microwave cleaned up, I'm gonna go ahead and fix the curtains by the back door, and then I'm gonna include some really, really good before and after shots. So make sure you stay tuned for those. I feel like they are super motivating to see like such, like the kitchen was so bad, and then to see it so clean and just crisp, it looks so good. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you were able to get motivated to do something or if you just hung out and watched. Um, either way, I appreciate you being here so very much. I wanted to go ahead and let you know, I am gonna start sharing more content like this here where it's a little bit more targeted cleaning, like one room. The reason for this is because I feel like 
recently I've noticed that all cleaning content, there's so much going on in it. And while it's so motivating, I also realize that it can be a little unrealistic for mini moms to get all that stuff done. So maybe these types of videos will be a little bit more motivating, showing you just simple targeted room cleaning. Um, so let me know if you want to see more of that or if you like the randomness all over the house jumping around, I can do those too. I just thought if I included a little bit more of these, um, y'all would enjoy that as well. Once again, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye y'all.